Energy O W three. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Energy Out of War 3 as you all know. And back with another video. It's gonna be a 2v2 battle I got from Amari. And he's gonna be partnering with Omaran playing versus Orati Pichio and Ilgan Jav. And yeah, this battle is gonna take place in the Safe World map. And yeah, without wasting much time, let's jump straight into the game. Here guys, as you can see, we are in the game. Amari is a purple player and his partner is the uh, Omaram, is the orange player. As you can see, first holding a little bit, placing out 3 barracks and both supplies and power plants, trying to grab as much containers as they both can in the map. As you can see, taking a scout on the blue player's base, he's got 5 supplies in HD level 2 and Amari is pretty much gone HD level 3, he's playing aviation and land. Oh wow, this is a very small map and... Yeah, Amari is still playing aviation, and you can see from his partner, yeah, he's playing full man, and yeah, that's how it's pretty much going to be in this battle, oh wow, as you can see, Amari is now going HQ level 4, and he's pretty much gotten a good amount of air units, taking a scout on the green player's base, the green player is going HQ level 4, playing full land, and uh, the blue player is pretty much doing the same thing, HQ level 4, full land plus heroes, yeah, Amari does not have maxed heroes, so uh, He's pretty much gonna use aviation instead of going for the heroes in this battle. And as you can see, he's gone HQ level 4, trying to place more airfield, building uh, more vehicle factories and special vehicle factories. And yeah, that's how it's pretty much gonna be for this game. His partner is playing air and uh, he's playing only land plus heroes. And here, guys. As you can see, Morris pretty much uh, upgrading his buildings, trying to get those zoos and shield into the battle. And uh, a super container uh, is gonna pop up here, which the green player is gonna collect. Man, they've got good amount of units and the Seraphim there too, so uh, it's gonna be impossible for Amari and his partner to get there and get the uh, container. Oh, well, as you can see, the green player is trying to take a scout, and Amari right here. Oh, wow, he already has a scout above the hill. Man, that is very smart for Amari. And there you go, he's gonna use his vertex to chip out those scouts from his partner's base. And there you go, bam. Oh yeah, I'm always placing out uh, rocket towers here, guys. Oh, wow, this must be an old battle. I can see uh, Saru Capsule is still popping up. Oh man, so you can see Amari is not going to take another scout. Oh yeah, man, the green player is now going S facility level 3. And it's got to use shield too. Same for the blue player. S facility level 3 is used shield typhoons. And fire assaults, man. Oh man, the blue player is gonna be a devastation. Oh man, as you can see, Amari has pretty much got an awesome amount of land units. And here you go. Hero attack. Bam. Oh man, Amari has got only Zeus shield and vertex. It's trying to chip out that hero. That micro deer from the blue player. Oh man. He has managed to take out uh, the bunker, which would have been a uh, pain in the ass to his fire assault. Me and so, uh, Mori just uses uh, Vertex to take out their Solaris, which has very low HP. And that is pretty much very nice. Nice job from Mori right there. Now he's gonna focus his use to attack the opponent's use instead of facing these fire assaults. Yeah, leaving the fire assaults for the uh, rocket towers at the back. And there you go. Mario has pretty much done well defending these attacks from the opponent. There you guys, moving over to his partner's side. Uh, he's being attacked by uh, Solaris, Seraphim, Fire Resort, Zeus, Shield, Typhoons, man. Damn. Oh man, and Mario's partner was trying to come with the Solaris to help defend his base, but yeah, he has to fall back. Mario's got his base well defended. Bam, a strike from the Solaris. They didn't even take down the Zeus under the shield, man. Wow, that's insane. Bam. Oh man, <laughs> this lady is weak or something, I don't understand. Amari is assisting his partner, man. As you can see, he's assisting his partner with his vertex. And the partner is using his Wulatis to be a pain in the ass to Amari's unit. Amari's partner has also got fire assaults, as you can see. Oh man, this is a very intense battle, guys, as you can see. And Amari's partner has pretty much defended these attacks successfully. Because he's now got more Zeus than the opponent. And yeah, I'm sure this is going to make the opponent fall back. Amari is now using his vertex to attack those uh, shields right there. As you can see. Coming again. And bam. Oh man. It's pretty much done well defending the attack from the green player. 
I'm over right here on his end, he's uh, grouping up units. He's got three shield. Oh wow, which is very nice, and I'm sure he's gonna attack the blue player soon. Oh man, the blue player has a very uh, uniform uh, unit arrangement right there. As you can see, he's now coming out with his fire assault. Damn, I'm always going for that shield right there. Man. He's taking down the shield. He's gonna focus on taking down the other shield. And there you go. Man. That is very smart for Mamori. You can see Mamori's trying to protect his, uh, protect his shield at all costs. There you go. He's gone into safety. <laughs> and yeah. He's pretty much got the opponent this time. Oh man, we can see the Solaris. Mamori has to fall back now. Because one strike from the Solaris is gonna be GG for his unit. Man. This blue player really does not know how to control his own Solaris. Man. He's not even using the Solaris strike. As you can see, uh, Mori's partner is now above the hill. And is being attacked by uh, the green player. Man, another strike from uh, the green player Solaris. While Mori is still trying to uh, attack the blue player. Oh, now he's falling back. Man. His own part of uh, his partner's base is being attacked too. Mori is pretty much trying his best, man. Without heroes, he's hard to survive, especially in the Diamond and Star League. Mori is doing well without his heroes. You can see this, uh, Solaris is trying to chip out this S facility right there. Man, it's going down for sure, man. Successfully taking down uh, the S facility and... Yeah, he's got less unit here. There's no way he can cause any damage, uh, any further damage to the orange player. And the orange player uh, uh, has his own Solaris still alive. you can see just 16 minutes into the game and we have seen a lot of attacks from both players and both opponents man he's got one torrent right here yeah and now he's going for the Zeus ignoring those typhoons yeah he's falling back the orange player has pretty much got his base defended and now he's lost his uh, S facility right here he has got to make sure his Solaris does not die man Oh man! As you can see, Amora is now being attacked just after his partner has defended uh, attack from the green player. Man, this is a missed strike from that Solaris. Man, and now he has added heavy assaults into the mix, making his units more hard and you know stronger in terms of damage. You can see Amori has got a better formation of units and it's pretty much trying well with his uh, vertex. Man, this is a nice view from Amori. He's in his vertex to try and chip out that uh, Seraphim right there. And BAM! Seraphim is dead. <laughs> the blue player is now falling back. Nice view, Amori. Nice view. Damn. So you can see Amori's partner is trying desperately to produce more Zeus. And Focus on maxing CP, I'm sure, before you know going HQ5 or building another S facility. Amori is now attacking the blue player. So you can see Amori is playing this battle with that, uh, his heroes. Man, Amori Imba. Amori's partner is trying to help Amori out with his heroes. And I'm not sure that's gonna happen. You can see the green player has his Solaris right here. And it's pretty much he's pretty much gonna attack at this side of the base and Amori and uh, Amori's partner's unit. Uh, it's over at that side, man. Amori is attacking the blue player still, while his partner is getting ready to be attacked by the green player. He's trying to use his vertex. Bam. You can see, nice amount of land units. This Solaris is all here. Amori is still attacking the blue player. Oh my god. Man. Surviving in this uh, battle without heroes is very hard thing to do. You can see Amori has to fall back. Yeah, guys. He has to regroup and build up more units. Scouting both players till HQ level 4. Nothing pretty much going on, just unit production, massive unit production to attack. You can see Amori has still got an assault above that here, right there. Amori's partner has pretty much left this part of the base defenseless. And I'm sure he's going out for an attack. Damn, as you can see. The green player is here. Oh man. 
Maurice Parknoy is moving out very far from the base. What's going on? Oh man. And the Solaris is still here. Oh no, Amari Tottenham is pretty much done for. Hey, he's gonna lose all of these factories right here. For sure, he's gonna lose them. Because the Solaris is just gonna be free without any form of a defense. Oh, he's coming with the Solaris. You can see? Yeah. It's not gonna be easy for the orange player. And, it's, and at the front of his base, there's too much juice for him to handle. Man. What happened? Man. Amore is attacking the blue player while his partner is getting uh, destroyed by the green player. Man, it's Ulatis, uh, the green player Ulatis pretty much survived that and it's causing a lot of damage to Amore's uh, partner's factory. Oh yeah, luckily, uh, there's green player Lack Typhoon, so this Vertex is pretty much gonna eat up all the Zeus. Yeah! Morimba! Amore's now caught in the blue player right here. Damn. And it's pretty much still defending his partner. Very nice from the morning, man. Very nice. He's trying his best with his vertex to try and defend his partner while also attacking the blue player. As you can see. The orange player has come with one of his shield right there. As you can see, man, that's why Lattice is weak. Man. Now Amari's partner is trying to rebuild all the factories he has lost and Amari has to fall back so he doesn't lose so much here that's trying to attack the blue player. As you can see, Amari is now going out for another attack again. He's got him a good amount of vertex which he can use to attack and you know maybe defend his partner because his partner is a little bit weak in this battle as he has lost a lot of his factories in this game. As you can see, the green player is coming to rescue the blue player, man. The Mori now has to focus on that Solaris right there with his vertex. Bam! That uh, Solaris is dead now. And the Mori now has more chance to uh, pretty much clear out the blue player. Man, handling both players without using uh, Solaris, or Seraphim, or Sibaras. No heroes, man. No heroes. Just vertex is your shield. And pure vertex control is your easy pure vertex control now uh, that there is no entire air for the blue player it's pretty much done for because Amari has a nice amount of aviation units as you can see oh man poor micro with that shield generator right there Amari has now successfully broken into the uh, blue player's base trying to use the vertex to uh, Take out that uh, S facility right there. The green player is now coming to help his partner out. Oh man. And Namari showing us his uh, partner's base. He's gotten a uh, Vega Factory level 3 and Special Vega Factory level 3. So uh, he's pretty much uh, well equipped for this battle. Man. Namari now has to fall back so he does not lose much units. And he's just attacking the blue player to give his partner, buy his partner time to uh, improve in this game. He has lost a lot of factories. Yeah, I saw a capsule in this game. Well, as you can see, Amori has now got upper hand because he's got his uh, shield. Oh man, those vertex. Those vertex are savage, uh, scavenging and uh, pretty much eating up the Zeus. And as you can see, this Zeus is uh, damn. Amori has a good amount of Zeus right here. It's pretty much GG for the blue player. There's no way he can survive this, man. There's no way. Me. Pretty much GG guys. GG. <laughs> and our Amori's partner, the orange player, is trying his best to come assist Amori. There you go, Amori is going out with the vertex. He's going for the S facility of the green player. Me. He doesn't even care about those anti air. Just going for the S facility. Yeah, let's see how you play with our heroes. <laughs> nice from Amari. Bam, you can see. This light is from the green player. It's pretty much being targeted by Amari's use. Amari ain't got no chill on those heroes, man. 
and the green player is done well trying to defend his partner but the attacks from Amore is just too nice, too strong and I had for the blue player to defend. Oh man. Well as you can see it's pretty much GG for the blue player. There's nothing he can actually do to uh, help defend that a green player can do to help defend the blue player in this game. And he's pretty much lost that HQ. Yeah, there's no way this green player is gonna play a 1v2 game and win against the mother here and uh, his partner on this one. As you can see, it's pretty much GG. Pretty much GG, guys. Yeah! Man. Blowing up the base. Yay! Amari Imba, Omaram Imba. <laughs> no hero Imba! <laughs> Imba vetas control, man. Imba, Imba. As you can see, as you can see, it's GG. GG's, guys. Man, very nice gameplay from Amari. If you have anything to say concerning this video, you can leave that in the comments. Uh, section of this battle Yeah guys, it's energy out of war 3 and here you go Victory